Hello everyone, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. Before we get into your mini reading here, I just wanted to let you guys know this is brand new as far as being off, being able to offer five minute zodiacs for every sign Monday through Friday. I just want to see how you guys are enjoying these, so please leave me a comment down below to see how you enjoy this or do you prefer longer readings? Do you prefer the shorter ones? Um, I don't know whether you, you guys are aware or not, but a lot of YouTube creators are experiencing a lot of income losses as well as subscribers and viewership just plummeting. And so in order to keep channels like this going, we definitely need the support from the community and for those who really enjoy our content. And I want to make sure that what you are watching on my channel is something you definitely enjoy and find value in. So I'd appreciate your comments. Let me know if you enjoy these five minute readings that I do Monday through Friday, or if you would prefer longer readings in between throughout the week. So I'm still trying to figure out what sort of schedule works best for the cumulative collective, I suppose. And of course, I will continue to do the channeled messages. Those seem to be pretty well received. And of course, first half of the month, second half of the month, I will continue to do the love forecasts with extended readings available on Patreon. So that's it for now. I just really wanted to get your feedback on these readings here. Um, of course, to be able to offer you guys readings that you do enjoy, but also to ensure that you know, I'm not busting my butt Monday through Friday doing readings for each Zodiac and really not seeing the numbers and the subscribership and viewerships going up, you know, to be able to find value in these for everybody. All right, guys, so that is it. Let's dive into your reading here. Thanks for tuning in. All right, Capricorn, let's get into your mini five cast here. General advice as always, I'll be pulling from my Silhouettes deck, the Heavenly Hearts Oracle deck, as well as my Illuminated Star Tarot. So let's get into it. What do you need to know for your timeless reading here? For Capricorn. Angels and Spirit Guides. Okay, so starting message. We have dirty. You knew what you were getting into. Now clean it up. If this is you, Capricorn, and you got yourself entangled in some drama, this could possibly be what it is that you need to do. Okay, to clean up whatever that represents. To clean up a situation. Let's grab another. We have color lines. True love has no barrier. But I'm also feeling for some of you that perhaps there could have been boundaries or barriers or lines that were crossed, which is why somebody got their hands dirty. Whether that's you, Capricorn, crossing the line or the other person. All right. Or maybe both of you. Let's grab some words from the Heavenly Hearts Oracle. What are the words that best reflect what's going on between you and the one that you're thinking about? True love. Maybe you fell in love with this person, but they could have been married. They could have been with someone else. Maybe you were. Oh, geez. Let's make babies tonight. Well, some of you guys might have made babies, and this could have been one of those very complicated situations where somebody got pregnant and it could have been a part of a third party situation. And I couldn't help but look at the next card and it says the heat is rising between you and I. So the intensity of the connection, the chemistry, that's reflected here, Capricorn. But based off of the lineup of these messages, especially this one, boundaries were crossed and I can't help but feel that this was super complicated because somebody might have already either had a family with someone else or there was a pregnancy that ended up happening and could have been a third party could have been a love triangle let's grab some tarot here oops <laughs> we've got the four of swords here 
Okay, so this is a break. This is a resting period right here. And then we've got the Magician, which ultimately is a great card, but it can also represent trickery. Somebody who's sneaking around and cunning and trying to get away with stuff. So that might have resulted in this. We've got the Lover's card here, which comes down to the choices and decisions that we make. So once again, barriers might have been crossed. Lines might have been crossed. This could have been a situation where you were someone's lover who, were, who was already in another partnership, whether they were married or not. Three of Cups can represent that third party situation. Okay, this could have also been one of those things where it was a friendship that turned into a love situation. You guys were friends, turned into lovers, turned into complicated drama. We do have the hangman. So this could have been a situation where either you let go, you detached, because maybe you knew it wasn't going to go anywhere, or the person who might have been already committed elsewhere might have detached because they ultimately knew that it wasn't going to go anywhere. So this could be you recovering from what all this might have represented. We've got the temperance card here. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Sagittarian. This is a card of needing patience. This is a card of perhaps trying to find balance in your life once again. But this can also represent someone who wants a reunion, a possible reunion. But there's a barrier here that's preventing that reunion from happening. Why is that? Because of this. We've got the Three of Swords popping up. So somebody got hurt. Maybe you both got hurt. This is telling us here more than likely you guys are not together because this is a love triangle. This is infidelity. This is a situation that's very complicated, plain and simple. All right, I will leave it at that. If that's your story, that's the advice. All right, guys, if you are interested in your own reading, that info is down below. See you next time.